Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to make a Cricut Joy card completely from scratch. So if you go into Cricut Design Space right now, you can pick from tons of different templates and they're adding new ones all the time. So basically you choose the template and it takes you right into making the card. You skip the canvas and all of the editing all together. What I'm going to show you how to do today is go to canvas and make your own. Put on the corners, choose the image, use the pen tool, make the card completely 100% yours. And it's easier than you might think. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you what it's all about and then we'll jump over to the craft table. And by the way guys, if you like what we're doing here today, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you join me every week for new videos. All right, let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and what I've done is I've opened up a new canvas, and this is the card that we're going to cut. So let me show you from beginning to end how I did this, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is go over into Shapes, and you're going to grab a square, okay? And we want to unlock the size of the square, and we'll go up into Size, and we want it to be 4.25 by 5.5. Now the, this is the size of the card kits that Cricut sells and so all of the cards that are already being made this is the size that they're doing them in and so let me just show you this real quick this is really neat. Okay so we let's move this up and then we'll go into images and we're just going to type in joy cards. Okay, so this is bringing up all of the cards, see with the corners here that you can cut. See, these are corners. You do not want the one that actually shows the card. You wanna scroll down a little bit. These are the corners. So you're just looking for the insert cuts and there's different ones. So we're gonna grab this one. Okay, and it's already sized for a joy card. So there's no moving around. You don't have to worry about the spacing of the corners. It's already in the right place. Okay, so we'll put that there. And now the th next thing that we want to do is you want to think about what image you want to put on the front of your card, right? Well, these images, you can't just choose any. You have to choose something that's connected or something that you can modify to be connected. Okay, so if you look at the one I chose here, um, let me just show you. If we go over into images, and I'm just going to type in happy birthday, see what we come up with. Okay, so you see all of these letterings, happy birthday, these are all separate. The happy's together, the birthday's together, and that's good. You could bring that in and then connect or weld those two. If we keep going down, let's see this one's good because all of the letters are connected. They're all touching each other. Even this one, everything is touching each other. What you can't have are words that are sort of hanging out there on their own or like this. It would cut each individual piece and so it wouldn't connect to the card. It would just, um, it would kind of look like a blob whenever it all got cut out. We're going to choose this one. What I like about this is that it's all um, connected. Now we are going to have to use the contour tool and change it up a little bit so that it works with our card, but I'll show you how to do that. But you want to choose something that is connected, not just, you know, bits and pieces out there. Okay, so let's bring this up. You can size it however you want to. I wanted to use the pen tool and write the name of the individual down here on the bottom. You don't have to do that, but I think it's fun. Just a fun element to do. Okay, so now that we have our corners and we have our happy birthday balloon. Let's go ahead and modify the balloon so that it cuts correctly. So the thing is, is like right now if I cut this just as it is, it would cut out the entire balloon, right? So it's got to cut on the outer edge and on the inner edge and what that's going to mean is that when it cuts out from the card, it's really just going to cut out the whole balloon shape. Like you'll lose everything on the inside. Happy birthday. So what we do is we select this, go into contour, and now in contour you can deselect any cut that you want. So you can hide any cut. And what we want to do is we want to hide the outermost shape or cut. 
because you have to remember around this is the actual card, right? So you can leave this little piece of the balloon at the bottom. Okay, so then we close that, and now you see that you can somewhat see through it, right? It's part of the actual card. Very cool, right? So with having the blue behind it, you can sort of see that's what your insert piece is going to look like. Okay, the next thing you can do is you can click on this outer piece. We only have that outer piece so that we can visualize what it's going to look like. You don't actually want to cut that. So you can hide that and see what it's going to look like. Very cool, right? Then you can go up into Color Sync. You want to make sure that your elements, now this one is all attached, so this is the one I did initially, but you want to make sure that these are the same two colors. So you can move it up just to make sure that everything's black. And then you can go back to layers. The next thing we want to do is we want to uh, use the pen tool and write her name on the card. Okay, so I'm just going to write Mimi. And this is the font Babette. And the cool thing about this is you can go into letter spacing and you can, you know, make the letters closer together. You see how they're moving? You can also go into more and curve the letters. If you go this way, they will curve out. And if you go to the right, they will curve down. So we're just going to slightly curve them up. Okay, then I'm going to take these, move them over, and I'm going to make the entire thing a little bit smaller. So let's just see. Now I'm going to actually use like a metallic, it's really pretty actually, a metallic um, marker pen, and I'll show that to you. Move this. And if you want to, you can put your square back so that you can see that it's still going to be writing on the actual square. And if that helps you um, to get it in the right place. And then you can just rehide that. And I am going to make sure that it says writing. And for those of you who don't know much about writing on these cards like this, when you choose a font, you can go into the filter function and choose writing and it will only show you fonts that can write. That way you don't pick a font and then find out that it's only a cuttable font. Okay, so we have one that we like. Click off of that. And then I am actually going to change that to, okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have all of the elements. I am going to click on this and hide it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click select all. So I know I have all three elements and I'm going to attach them because we want to write it and cut it all at the same time. We don't want to you know, put it through the machine and just write and then put it back through the machine and cut. The joy is, a, is able to do both. So we're ready to go. Let's hit make it. We're going to do this on the card mat. Okay, and so now that we're on the mat, what you wanna do is you wanna grab that and center it. Go over, let's just check out everything over here. You got draw and cut on the card mat. And then in the material size, make sure you go to a 5.5. Um, and by the way, I have a video on how to make your own card kits. So your own um, paper stock. So if you want to check that out, um, it's actually super easy. And that way you can have any color or pattern that you want. Okay, so go back. And it looks like everything is lining up just the way we want it to, so we can hit continue. Okay, so now it's found our joy via Bluetooth, and we want to use insert card kit, and it's telling me to load my gold metallic pen. Okay, so let's hop over to the craft table, and we'll put in our pen and get everything together for our cut. Okay, so here we are on the craft table. Let me show you what we're gonna be working with today. So I have my Cricut Joy, I have my Joy card mat, I have a Cricut Joy pen, this is a metallic marker, and then I have my scraping tool, my spatula, and my weeding tool. And then these are um, just some card pieces that I cut myself to do this card. So if you wanna know how to make your own cards and your own inserts, um, then I'm linking the video to that up above. And if you want to know how to use all of the pre-designed Joy cards, I'll put that up there as well. Okay, so what we need to do at this point is just take our protective covering off of our joy mat because it's just like a standard mat and it has this protective film on it to keep it tacky or sticky. So then we're gonna take 
our card and just insert it in. Okay, and make sure that it's lined up right, right where it should be on the mat. Okay, and then we'll just place that down. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to take out our blade because we're gonna start with the pen. And if you have a maker or if you have an explorer and you put a pen tool in, you're going to be pushing it down to hear it pop. You don't do that with the joy. With the joy, it just literally sits in and then you close clip. Okay, and now what we wanna do is put our mat in. The joy will start to feed it in. Okay, and now the joy is Bluetooth, so you need to go to your mobile device or to your computer and select go. Okay, so our writing is over with. We wanna open the clamp, take out our pen, and then just put back in our blade. And it's that easy. Close the clamp and select go. Okay, so our card is done and we've selected unload. So we can just close. Okay, and now what we wanna do is gently, very, very gently pull our card away from the mat and the newer the mat I mean it's in some ways going to just self weed I mean it's going to hold down all the elements that you are not going to be using see that now there's going to be a little bit of weeding with this but we'll set that out of the side aside and we'll clean that in a minute and then we can just take our tool and pop out any remaining elements okay and there it is all weeded out and so the only thing left to do is to take your insert and just pop it into those corners and it's really simple to do just put them underneath each edge and if you want to learn how to put writing on the inside of your card so if you want to write your sentiment in there using all the beautiful fonts in Cricut Design Space I have a separate video showing you how to do that and so I've linked that up above see how gorgeous that turned out and real quick guys just for that mat you want to make sure that you take care of that so grab your scraping tool and scrape off the pieces and a lot of times I'll scrape them right off into my little trash bowl um, and then put your protective covering back over your card mat so you're ready for your next card okay so what did you think those were really easy to make right and you can make anything that you want to I'm already thinking about holiday cards <laughs> So if you liked what we did here today, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and join me every week for new videos. And by the way, I put a link down below in the description to um, all the tools that we use today so you can give those a look. All right, guys, I will see you next time.